So I told my wife, we were the first ones here. And they have all the chairs set up. They have this here uh, uh, panel uh, set up here. They have uh, uh, a speaker system up there. They have coffee over there. They have water over there. And uh, we have waited here. And there, as of now, there's 10 people. And uh, there was more before. Some left. And they said the reason why they canceled it because of the weather. Well, I, uh, I wanted to say that my wife and I, we traveled from Crystal Falls, and we encountered no weather. So I guess the question is whether we are to be here or whether or not. That's the weather question. And uh, I think this is here uh, uh, a slight on the part of DNR because we were not notified. I don't think anybody in this audience that are here right now were notified or heard of that. This meeting was canceled. We come here to discuss this issues. Not only the wolf issues, but other issues too. But the DNR, they uh, elected not to uh, uh, host this uh, particular forum here this evening. And I am very disappointed because I have a number of things I want to say about the wolf. And uh, we travel up here, and the roads were bare. We come up here, and there's hardly any snow here. There was snow all along the way from Crystal Falls. And uh, so for myself, this is a big disappointment. And uh, there are other things I'm disappointed about too. For example, I just want to take a moment here and discuss those disappointments. For example, I've been keeping track of some of these uh, issues pertaining to the wolf. And I see this, uh, uh, one of the co-sponsors of this wolf uh, idea of hunting here in Michigan was uh, Senator Tom Casperson. And uh, what I found interesting in this particular, uh, particular uh, newspaper article from the R Mountain Daily Press is that he's also the chairman of Natural Resources and Environmental Policy Committee. To the Indian, he would never put an ermine in charge of a rabbit's den. But to quote this, he said that wolf numbers are getting out of hand in parts of the Upper Peninsula, where they are com drawing complaints from people whose livestock and pets have, been, pets have been killed. We got them casually walking right into the city of Arnwood. I never ever seen a wolf walk casually. The Western UP is suffering. I would say that's a stretch of the imagination. Myself, I have encountered wolves in the woods. And when I see them, I talk into my language. in the Ojibwe language. And they understand that language. And they know what I'm saying, because that language is an ancient language, and wolves are ancient people. 